Why didn't you do what you attempted to do? This is a lesbian love story between two married women from 1865. How they meet, how they become friends and how they fell in love. Let's start their love story from beginning. Her name is Abigail. She is married to a farmer. They had a daughter together. But she died when she was 4 years old. And Abigail can't overcome from her daughter's grief. She felt apart from everything. She couldn't find any reason to live anymore. However, one day when Abigail helping her husband, she saw some unfamiliar faces. According to her husband, they are new to this town. They keep staring at each other like they have to say something. Later that day, when Abigail was removing ice, that lady came to her to introduce her. Abigail offered her tea at her house. She saw I had noticed her hair in the winter sun through the window. Her skin had an underflush of rose and violet which so disconcerted me that I had to look away. When it came to speaking and attempting to engage in others' affections, circumstances doomed me to striving and anxiety. From my earliest youth, I was like a pot-bound root. All in their first meeting, Abigail noticed so many things about her, even the tiny expressions she had. Then her husband came, I'm so, so she decides to leave. Meeting you has made my day. Yes? After their first meeting, they often meet when their husbands are not at home. Her name is Tally. She came to this town with her husband. When they sit beside each other, Tally touch Abigail. Later that night, Abigail's husband tried to make love with her, but she refuses. Did you miss me? Yes. You look different. No. They plan a dinner night to know each other better. There is something going on between us that I cannot unravel. Today is Abigail's birthday, so Tally bought a present for her to surprise her. Every time when their husbands are not around, they try to spend their time together. And each time when Abigail sees Tally, she gets very happy. Abigail wrote so many things about Tally on her diary so she can remember her forever. Tally came later than her usual time today. She offered no explanation. Day by day, their friendship getting very intense, like they can't be live apart. Looking at her expression, as if she were in full sail on a flood tide, I never saw on her countenance the indifference, the fortunate towards the less fortunate. One day when Tally came to see Abigail, she got very close to her and tell her that she loved her and tried to kiss her, but she didn't. After they kissed each other, Abigail start crying in happiness and joy. Astonishment and joy. On the very next day, Tally came to see Abigail when her husband is leaving the house so they can make love. When she left, I was like a skiff at sea with neither hand nor helm to guide it. Tally wrote a poem for Abigail and after hearing the poem, they were laughing without knowing the fact that this is the last time they will kiss each other. We haven't seen you for days. She's been under the weather. When Abigail didn't see Tally for months, she decides to went to her house for dinner. That's where she knew that Tally and her husband is going to leave this town. After Tally leaves, she went to her house to see her for the last time, but they already gone. She wrote so many letters to her, but she didn't get any reply. However, one day a letter came. I'm sorry. 
sorry that all I have to send you is this letter, and I'm sorry for all that a letter cannot be. Abigail gave reply to Tally's letter, but unfortunately, her husband get the letter and found out about their love relationship. On the other hand, Abigail decides to went to the place where Tally is. So she is on her way, but when she arrives at Tally's house, she gets a shocking news that she is no more alive. Abigail just lay down beside Tally's dead body and start remembering the moments they spent together over a period of a year. Abigail didn't want to leave anymore after seeing what happened to her loved ones, but Tally came from heaven and tell her that she have to leave and she is always be with her in her imagination. And this is how the movie ends. I hope you fell in love with this movie because I did when I saw it for the first time. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily new lesbian movies and shows. Till then, take care. Bye bye.